Hello everyone, so we're back for another pickups video today. We're going to get right on into it. So first pickup, we got Shimigama Tensei 5. I got this from Best Buy. I got it with Gamers, not Gamers Club Unlocked, golly, what a bonehead. I got, I picked this up with the Total Tech membership and got it for $10 cheaper. We got a Siberia 3. Pure Football Authentic Soccer. Amp 3. The Bureau, XCOM Declassified. And The Last Remnant. So this next stack of games I picked up while I was video while I was hunting in Oklahoma City. This one was picked up at a pawn shop for $4. We, we picked up the Dreamcast collection in great condition. We got I picked the these two up at a vintage stock. We got Destroy the Humans, Path of Wild Furon. They were buy buy one game nineteen ninety nine or less, get one game nineteen ninety nine or less for free. And then we also picked up Resident Evil Revelations. These were all picked up at two local game shops in Oklahoma City. We got NASCAR twenty eleven the game. Duck Dynasty, the game. The Incredible Hulk. This, this is our biggest hitter out of all of these. We got the Gold Edition Marvel Ultimate Alliance. It's still sleeved here. The manual is crispy. The disc is crispy. Absolutely amazing pickup there. We got the Lenticular Attack of the Movies 3D. Very cool game there. Avatar, The Last Airbender, The Burning Earth. So here's the story behind these two games. We have Spider-Man, The Edge of Time, and Spider-Man, The Shattered Dimensions. If you know anything about these games, they are both currently running between $80 and $90 a piece. And as you see there, I picked this one up for $40. This one for 35 They both have the manuals. The discs are in acceptable shape for sure. But awesome now this into the collection for more than half off. And then we also picked up the Simpsons game. And an eBay purchase here. We got Star Wars Rebel Strike Wars Godrin 3 for the GameCube. Nice to add a GameCube game into the set. So in our local pick up here in Wichita we picked up a guide for Star Wars The Force Unleashed for it looks like Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 so that's cool to add to the collection got it for $10 adding a few of these manuals into the collection for games that I really like it's definitely nice okay on to the last pickup here this was a Facebook marketplace pickup we got a, a, 2D, a Nintendo 2DS with the stylus and everything as we can see, it's in pretty pretty good condition, honestly. I picked up this whole lot of uh, DS stuff for $140. thought it was a pretty good buy. So I'll start and just run through these DS games. We got Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. Phineas and Ferb. Sims Animals. Lego... Battles Ninjago. ATV. Thunder Ridge Riders. And Monster Trucks Mayhem Twin Pack. Double value. Tough Masters 2. We got Batman. The video game. Lego Batman 2. DC Super Heroes. Frozen, Olaf's Quest, that's a Nintendo Selects there, very nice. Super Mario Land 3D, glad we picked up that one. And also Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D and the, the Nintendo Selects. It seems those Nintendo Selects are actually worth a, maybe about a dollar to two more than the regular editions for some reason. Where the Wild Things Are, it, I thought this was an interesting game here. Based on a childhood book, I thought it was very interesting. I didn't even know this existed. 
drawn to life, the next chapter, Battle of Giants, Dinosaurs, Nickelodeon's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Ben 10, Protector of Earth, Monsters vs. Aliens, definitely probably a heavy hitter on this one if I had to guess. Kind of an underrated pick I think on this one. Uh, Nickelodeon Spongebob Atlantis Square Pantis. These Spongebob games usually are pretty fun games to play from at least the Xbox ones I've heard. And then Madagascar 2 Escape to Africa. So we have one other pickup and I'll be right back with it. Okay, so the last things we got here are some book pickups I'm adding into my book co collection. First we got a manga here. Um, Vampire Knight number one. Thought this was pretty interesting to add into the collection. It, got it for a real good price, half price there. First edition book two, which is nice to add into the series. Definitely going to read it and see what we're looking at there. Next up, we got Star Wars Galaxies, The Ruins of Dantooine. Thought this book looked interesting. Pick it up from the book, Bookaholic here in town. Add that one into the collection. We have Star Wars Chris uh, Knights 1 Jedi Twilight. Definitely be an interesting read. Got it for a real good price. Happy to add that. Timothy Zahn's Vision of the Future Star Wars. Probably a pretty interesting read. Might get to it someday. We'll see. Some of the some books just kind of adding it into the collection, you know. This is probably another case of adding it into the collection. We got Star Wars Young Jedi Knights Heir of the Forest by Kevin J. Anderson. Definitely interesting. Working on trying to finish this Young Jedi Knights collection as quickly as I can. And then Star Wars The New Rebellion. Unfortunately, all of these Star Wars books here are non-canon anymore, which is kind of frustrating, but, I mean, it is what it is. So that is all we got there on those pickups. Down in the comments section, feel free to tell me what is your favorite game I picked up there and any memories that you have with any of these games. Thanks for tuning in to another pickups video. Awesome, more videos and content coming soon to the channel one other thing i would like to cover today is i was planning on going to mo game con jr in st louis february 26th the game uh the convention center the apton elk lodge decided to cancel on the convention with only 10 days notice left for a cornhole tournament shame on you apton elk lodge now, to get that off, off of my chest, everybody have a great day and enjoy playing some games.